So we're going to continue a small tour of some businesses and stories here on 6th Avenue in Tacoma, Washington. Um, a, lot, a lot really hasn't changed. That's one thing interesting about parts of Tacoma. It, the businesses change a little bit and new things come in. You know, like this block, there's a yoga and there's a float center, Northwest Float Center, Float Tank Studio. So things like this probably did not exist here in the 80s. I don't remember what was here, honestly. Tansy, do you remember? I don't. We got grocery store. You do have a coffee shop right over there. Bahala. They got their coffee roasters. Really good. There's a sushi place right there. But what I wanted to show you. So one of my jobs I had before I moved to Albuquerque, well, I'll say I only worked for a couple days, but now it's a chiropractic place, but in this building, which is very unexciting, um, I was hired to uh, work in this pet store to help feed, clean the cages, what, what have you. Anyway, so the, the whole time I was supposed to be getting paid and uh, and I didn't get paid. And he said, oh, didn't you know you're working volunteer? I'm like, no, I'm. <laughs> this is a job. So uh, I had to call the Better Business Bureau. So at one point, in order to get paid, I had like a couple other members of the machine. I think the whole band, we, we walked in and I'm like, look, I work two days for you and legally I'm supposed to get paid. So he wrote me a check finally for, I don't know, it's probably like $30 or something in two days. I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure, I don't remember. But yeah, he finally paid me, scumbag. Oh yeah. So one thing that's happening in Tacoma right now is rents and uh, property values are, you know, going up and up, or they're just high anyway. Um, but a lot of these places change over, you know, a lot, like every year, if not more. So this place right here, uh, we don't know what it's, it's, it's going to be. It used to be uh, Rocket Records at one point. Now. Um, we don't know what it's going to be. And even the business next door is also, uh, I don't know. So this, uh, this is kind of an epic spot throughout the years. It used to be Hell's Kitchen where they had punk shows, so lots of bands have, have played here. Try to get a better shot of it. I mean, it's it, it's ready to rock, you know. All of somebody just has to buy it and literally like turn on the turn on the freaking electricity. But whoever owns it, they don't really have a very good sense of rock and roll. Now we travel down a little bit right here. This is the the patriotic barber. Come here, and we got old Steve O. Steve O. <laughs> What's going on, John? It's Bruno. Well, hey, you Bruno. Your youth, baby, is what I'm saying. Well, happy birthday, John. See, 50s youthful, like, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, the 50 is a new 30. What are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah, you got a lumber company, bar and grills, grocery.